Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahajani. Welcome to another live stream. Today we are going to talk about Virgo ascendants and the planets and conjunctions. We are also going to cover the questions on the community tab. And if you have any other questions, you can put them into the comment section of the live chat. So let me share the screen for... So yes, this is Virgo Ascendant. And for Virgo Ascendant, the Kendras are ruled by first house is Mercury, fourth house is Jupiter, seventh house is Jupiter, and tenth house is Mercury. And when it comes to the trinal lord, Mercury is ruling the first house. First house is trine as well as kendra. So Mercury is ruling the trine house as well. Then Saturn is ruling another trinal house, the fifth house. And the ninth house, which is another trinal house, is ruled by Venus. Okay, now these are the important planets for Virgo Ascendant. And the most important planet for Virgo Ascendant is Mercury because it is trying as well as Kendra. And you will also hear about the when a benefic, the rule is when a benefic rules the angle, it uh, loses its you know strength to some extent so it has to gain strength through the aspect through the conjunction with another uh, strong lords okay but mercury is ruling the lagna the exception to this rule is the lagna so mercury is going to give you a good result the association of any planet with mercury will be beneficial for virgo ascendant Okay, let us see if we have any questions on community tab. Okay, now let us uh, take the questions. Mansi Srivastava. In the 12th house, there is a cluster of planets, Sun, Mars, Mercury, and Venus. Sun, Mars, Mercury, and Venus is Mercury, Venus, Mars are, are combust and they are getting aspect of Saturn from the third house, Jupiter aspect from the eighth house. What will be the result? Let me visualize this. Let me put in here text here. You have Sun, Mercury, Venus and Mars is aspected by Jupiter here. And Saturn is here. Okay, so the Mercury, which is the Lagna Lord and a Trine Lord is conjunct with the 12th Lord with the 10th Lord with the 8th Lord with the 9th Lord with the 2nd Lord and with the 3rd Lord. Okay. Now all these energies are going into the 12th house. But the association of Mercury makes this a uh, better conjunction, okay? It is into the 12th house. 12th house is about your losses and expenses, but more than that, it is also the house of the 
foreign travels also gains from the foreign foreign things in your life and as your lagna lord is placed into the 12th house you are focus your life focus will be on the 12th house things you will be involved into the spiritual activities and sun is getting the strength by being in its own sign so the 12th lord is in the 12th house okay so when the lagna lord conjunct the 12th house it makes you uh, inclined towards the 12th house things towards the spiritual things and it also involves the 10th lord so when there is a cluster of planet and lot of things are happening around you have to decode it one by one this is not the um, one shot interpretation you cannot just say that okay i have sun mercury venus okay so you will be having this results no you cannot do that because sun and mars are friends venus and mercury are friends sun is getting the strength mercury is getting the strength okay you have to analyze and decode one by one you have to look for the strength of these planets into the namancha chart you have to look for the patterns from the moon chart and then you can come to some conclusion but yes i like this mercury venus conjunction here because venus does great job into the 12th house as well okay i hope this has helped you next is shan shan shanthala reddy jupiter ketu in virgo mercury and moon in sixth jupiter ketu in virgo okay and sun rahu in seventh saturn venus in eighth mars in third life is full of struggles any remedies uh shanthala i i do not recommend any remedies i don't have any remedies i don't recommend remedies or james stones but we can look at the chart and the energies so the first thing you have to do is when you have jupiter when you have ketu in the first house we have made a separate video on ketu in the first house and you have sun sun rahu here and what else you have saturn venus in the 8th saturn plus venus here and mars in the third okay the first thing you have to do is you have ketu into the first house along with jupiter okay when you have ketu in the first house it makes you focus on yourself it will make you rely on yourself more than the other person okay so you have to build the trust you have to you have to be grateful about the other person for being in your life i don't know what kind of struggle you are going through but you have to look for the dashas and you know then it will start making sense to you but from the uh, perspective of trinal and angle i see the venus is a trinal lord is conjunct with another trinal lord see this is the conjunction of ninth lord getting in here and the fifth lord getting in here and the second lord so this saturn venus conjunction in fact will work great even though it is into the debilitated sign into the dushtana house look for the source of strength into d9 but this conjunction saturn venus is 10th from this 10th from excuse me 11th to the 10th house which is the labasthan of your career so during this time it can also give rise to your career it can also give you you know growth in your career and what kind of growth where you will get it you have to look for the dasha and antra dasha for it okay i hope this has helped you and if you have any further question you can always put them into the comment section we'll definitely cover them julia 
mink venus mercury and moon together in the first house venus mercury and moon into the first house and mars sun into the 12th house mars plus sun okay so what what are the houses ruled by venus venus is ruling the second house and the ninth house is going in here mercury is ruling the 10th house is going here it's and then moon is ruling the 11th lord so the 11th lord conjunct with the first lord 10th lord and 9th lord i think this is the best combination for you okay because all the uh, planets ruling the trinal house like saturn venus and the finances the second lord and the 11th lord is conjunct with your ascendant lord i find this is the best combination then let's look at mars what's happening with mars and sun mars and sun sun is getting the strength the source of strength as it is into its own sign 12th lord into the 12th sign and both these are the malefic planets okay malefic doesn't mean bad benefic it malefic are the crude grahas like they have a very cruel way of teaching you a lesson okay but here sun is getting the strength by being in its own sign and mars and sun are friends the only thing you have to guard against is to losing your energy you don't have to waste your energy and you have to be careful while spending because 12th house is the house of your spending okay and all these things will change depending upon the aspect of the planet association of the planet we don't know where saturn is we don't know where jupiter is we don't know what dashas you are going through if you are not going through any of the mars or sun dashas these this combination may not be fruitful or maybe will be effective during the antra dasha or uh, pari antra dasha of the planets okay so yes that's how you can analyze these conjunctions for each of the ascendant let's look at the next akash thakur jupiter in the fourth house in sagittarius without any conjunction sitting alone 15 degrees forming hansa yoga does it affected by kendradipati dosha in virgo ascendant retrograde saturn in the seventh house is in pisces with 5 degrees aspect but in uh, jupiter will i get full benefit of jupiter mahadasha sir please answer i'm going through jupiter rahu mahadasha See, Jupiter is ruling the Kendra house. Jupiter here is ruling the fourth house and the seventh house, but not the Lagna Lord. Okay, so you have to check for the associations. If you have Jupiter aspected by Mercury, aspected by Venus, aspected by Saturn, or conjunct or in exchange, then this Jupiter will most definitely will be able to give you the good results during its dasha. okay next question is rachana creation what does mean jupiter mars conjunction in the second house of virgo ascendant does this okay it's a too long a question do all this placement indicate more than one marriage we cannot cover this because you know i'm not able to visualize this or do it but i will try to reply to your comment once this stream is over what about both saturn and mars into this ascendant okay so moon mars okay when you have saturn and mars saturn plus mars here okay saturn is ruling the trinal house saturn is ruling the 
trinal house here and it is going here but saturn is also ruling the sixth house mars is also ruling the eighth house okay a trinal lord into the first house is a great combination but it is also the sixth lord you have to look for the mercury here because eighth eighth lord and the sixth lord and the 12th lord give results as per the association of their uh, conjunction okay but these two are malefics and ruling the dushtana so you have to be careful with respect to your health you have to take enough sleep and take care of your health okay and also check the dashas if you are going through mars or saturn dashas or mahadashas or even better uh, go and check the antar dasha of the mars and saturn did you face any challenge during those small period of time okay this will help you next is ramesh julka how sun and mars in the second house with libra how it affect the temper jupiter venus in 12th with leo sign sun and mars into the second house sun plus mars here and venus and jupiter venus in the 12th so again look for the lordship if you look at with respect to the temper when you have sun and mars conjunction these two are fiery and you know male planets but into the sign of libra okay so you always have to look for but these two are friends so it it can give you an aggression okay and there is also the exchange of planets the second lord is going into the 12th house and 12th lord is getting into the second house so this exchange makes these uh conjunctions stronger but just from these two conjunctions we cannot uh interpret but yes these two are malefic san uh, southern mars and their friends and are in exchange and are in exchange of a trinal lord of venus which is the ninth lord okay so yes next venus ketu conjunction in second house whenever a planet conjunct rahu and ketu you have to analyze that conjunction thoroughly like you have to go into the depth of the lordship see if we put in venus ketu here venus plus ketu it will make rahu here right and remember what we talk about the 8th house rahu 8th house rahu has things which are hidden which you know it's difficult for astrologer to really tap into this person so who is this guy gridesh sekar gridesh sekar there is some part of your life which is hidden from all of us so we when we are you know doing a consultation or doing a reading for the rahu in the 8th house there is something which we are not able to get in to get hold of it something hidden that only you know okay but that venus ketu conjunction will give you a uh, social awareness this with the social awareness of being in the society 
you will be the person who will be uh, at the right occasion with dressed according to the occasion right if you are going to the wedding you will wear something ethnic or you know traditional you won't go on a jeans t-shirt you have that sense of the society you will never uh, involve into gossips you are well aware of the surroundings you have the people around you you will be well aware of your surroundings and while speaking you will be aware who is listening and whom we are talking about and you will make sure that you are not involved into gossips okay so yes now let us go to the questions from the Ishita Roy in Virgo Lagna fifth house Ketu Moon Mercury conjunct in Capricorn. How is it work? The involvement of Ketu Mercury into the fifth house is great. The Sumati Sekar and what next? Mercury. Sunil Chauhan, Mercury in Lagna, Rahu in ninth, and Jupiter in third house in conjunction with Ketu. The Bendu Roy, Venus and Sun conjunction in Aquarius sixth house. Venus Sun conjunction. Venus plus Sun conjunction here. See the 12th Lord is getting into the sixth house and it is conjunct with the second Lord and the ninth Lord. And more than that, it is creating a yoga which is Viparit Yoga. Okay, like 12th Lord is getting into the sixth house when a Lord of a Dushtana house Lord of the Dushtana house 6, 8, and 12 goes into another Dushtana house, it creates a Viparit Yoga. Okay, so it is creating a Viparit Yoga. So it will give good results to you. Sun, Moon, Mars. <laughs> Who is this? Sprinkles sarcasm. Sun, Moon, Mars. Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars. Pisces, Venus in Aries. Ketu in Taurus. Sun, Moon, Mercury. Okay. Uh, what next? Sparks on the road, Jupiter, Mars, Rahu in 12th Leo, Sun in 4th. What next? Jupiter, Mars, Rahu in the 12th. Let's do that. Jupiter plus Mars plus Rahu and Ketu will be here. And Sun in the fourth. Okay. 
So here again, there is aspect of Jupiter. Jupiter is ruling the fourth and the seventh Lord going into the 12th Lord conjunct the eighth Lord. Again, it is creating a Viparit Yoga when the eighth Lord, the Dushtana Lord is going into another Dushtana house. Mars is conjunct the Jupiter and Rahu. And Sun, the 12th Lord is going into the fourth house, creating an exchange between Jupiter and Sun. Between the fourth Lord and the 12th Lord. When there is an exchange between the fourth and the 12th, fourth is all about your emotions and 12th house is all about your uh, spiritual inclinations. And Jupiter and Sun are, you know, Sun is the character of your soul. Jupiter is all about the wisdom. And when these two planets are in exchange, you will have an inclination towards the spiritual things. But the Mars and Rahu, you have to be careful with respect to your energies. You should not waste your energies. Rather, you should channelize your energies to the spiritual, you know, spiritual discipline. And it will help you to channelize your energy. So yes, this was Virgo Ascendant. As much as I could hold, grasp and share with you guys. If you have any questions, you can put them into the comment section. I will reply to them in a comment section. Tomorrow we are going to cover the Libra Ascendant. I will share the uh, link of the Libra Ascendant in a community tab shortly. You can share your questions regarding the Libra Ascendant. We'll see you tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. IST. Sending you tons of positive energy, sending you high vibrations, love and peace. Namaste.